Hello everyone, Jet here, and welcome back to my Battle Tech playthrough, guys. Where, well, we're starting off in Mech Bay because we've just finished a, a big story mission, guys. I won't go into too much detail about it, but I've I've taken some damage, guys. So we need to do a bit of repairing and refitting. So, uh, let's go into here. Let's do it. Just this is just a repair, guys. Now, I do have a question. I am underweight here, guys. Um, now I only seem to be able to alter the armor manually in fives. I've tried every modifier I can think of to try and work out how to modify it in individual, you know, ones and twos, guys. Um, so, if you know how to do it in smaller increments than fives, please, please, please let me know, guys, because I feel like I'm missing something obvious here, um, because I can, I can max armor, but if I max armor, it rejigs it all for me, and I want to manually do my armor, and I don't seem to be able to do that without being ever so slightly off and I'd like to be able to go up in smaller increments to really make the most of this guys um for now we're going to confirm this because we're only slightly under but we're potentially missing a teeny bit of extra armor we could have I am aware it's only going to take one day right let's go back to my trebuchet to refit you I've also apparently been making a couple of mistakes uh this one's okay Apparently I should never keep ammo in my centre torso because if it's hit and they hit the ammo box, they make my centre torso blow up. So, um, yeah, I've been being a little bad there, guys. Um, but yeah, like here, obviously this guy is a long-range mech. So actually, I want more forward-facing armour on him. Um, that said, he's also a long-range mech, so I'm not that fussed. I would like a little more armour on his torsos, but... Uh, on his front torsos, but doing that's not going to be easy. Um, actually, with this one, it is easy. Now, I have got really low back armor on my trebuchet, but my trebuchet is a long-range mech guy, so he shouldn't really be facing away from people. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, so we're going to leave him like that. It's going to take a bit because we are tweaking our armor here now we might have to wait for a little bit after this simply because we've uh, obviously we're doing a lot of repairing and refitting oh no stop work I also do want to tweak this guy slightly I'm pulling the small laser off because I don't need I never use the small laser um, Let's pop a bit more armor on now. We've removed that small laser. And oh, I want another, I'd like another heat sink on him as well, actually. Um, How did adding one heat sink makes how heavy are heat sinks? They are only one ton. You know, I'm gonna leave it like that, guys, because I'm I'm quite happy with that. That's given us a lot more armor on this guy. Um he's still a nice long range mech, guys. So he's we're removing the small short range laser because I don't really use that. And he's got a lot more armor, which is gonna make him a bit more survivable. Um and we are using him as a bit of a tanky mech, it, so that's not so good so bad. Let's get a refit on my blackjack. Somebody did say I should change out the AC2s, as you can see, I already have. Now, this guy is, he's hes my long-range sniper mech, guys. So this is where I've messed up. I've put my ammo in the wrong place. So we're going to pull that out, put it with my medium lasers. Um, what do I need to do on here? Oh, I need to repair his leg. Um, Again, I'm going to tweak my armor slightly. And this is where I get annoyed, because I'm going just ever so slightly over here. Um, let's max armor it. See, I'd like more front armor on this guy. Um, and I'd like to tweak these smaller amounts. Um... Then it's really giving me the option to. That'll do though. So we've upped all our front arm a little bit. Our arms are a little bit tougher. As are our, our torso, our shoulders. 
uh, so our, our left and right torsos, guys, which is just going to make us that little bit tougher, guys. Um, my centre torsos not could can actually have a lot more armour, but that's okay. This guy, again, he shouldn't be getting in too close. It just gives it makes him a little bit tougher on the front, guys. I could potentially strip a little bit more off the back, but I don't want to be stripping too much off the back. Because while he is longer range, we've seen how often he ends up he does end up in close range, guys. So we'll leave that there for now. Um, Logged and lots of repairs going on. Um, I'm just going to wait for everything to be done now. Obviously, we've got my new Centurion, guys. So I'm just probably going to leave his stock. I'm going to leave him as with his stock loadout. In fact, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off that small laser. Um... It's quite a nice stock loadout, actually. It's a reasonable long, long slash medium range setup, actually, which uh, works quite nicely. So obviously we can uh, throw a bit more armor on this this guy now. Oh, we can't quite do that. That'll do. Um, so he's got a lot of front armor as well on this this one. Um, on it. I like that loadout compared to my other Centurion. Um, it was there repaired. We'll have a look and we'll give them both a go. Right. Anyway, first things first, guys. Contracts. Now, I do know there are there are Griffins here, guys, which I can buy, and I do like the look of it because it looks like a nice long range mech once we've got it. But he's got the LRMs and a PPC, and it's a reasonably tough mech, guys. But it's also going to cost me a fortune to get one. I'm very tempted. But I need to do a mission first. I'm going to do it, guys. We just need to make sure we get our money back. It gives us another mech into the mix. Ooh, I just got the achievement. Look what I made for making mechs, obviously. So you can see this guy. He's, he's nice and armoured. He's not as armoured as this guy. This guy is a tank. Um... He's got an LRM, lots of ammo, and a PPC. He's not got the largest largest amount of armaments on now. I mean, I could give him more missiles or more things. So I can tweak him a bit. He can't have any ACs on him, though. Um, it just gives me another, another, another mech into the mix. Anyway, first things we need to do is we need to wait a couple of days. And then we need to get a couple of things repaired. And that's what I need to do. I want to get... I want to get a working loadout, guys. So I can do a mission. Uh, so five days we'll have all of these guys done. How many mech warriors do I have at the moment? Who are actually available. Oh. Oh, I shouldn't have bought that griffin, yep. guys. Orders. Um... Oh, damn. Yes, Commander. I hear you. How long are these guys out for? Yes, Commander. Yep. Commander? Oops. Bankruptcy projected. That's not good. Seventeen days. So, before our financial report. So... We should be able to get that. We should be able to get a mission before we run out of cash, guys. Just. This is cutting it cutting it fine, guys. If I better fart past this Network mission. Complete, boss. Our nest egg is just about gone, Commander. And let's just check my finances. How much are we spending a month? So we yeah so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna break at the end of the month so we, we need to be very very careful here in fact let's just sell a mech nice to see you down here in the hole i'm not planning on ever using this again guys so it's getting sold how do i sell it Scrap mech for sea bills, yes. What do we have in storage? I can't actually sell them unless I've got a whole mech. I can also sell off components, but I prefer not to. We're not going to get go bankrupt now anyway. 
We're going to save, stave it off just. That was silly me. I shouldn't have bought that griffin, guys. Ventilation trouble. In the daily beefing, Darius brings, uh, brings up the barracks climate control system. Apparently, it started cycling randomly between tolerable and inside the mech cockpit in a desert. Uh, Dr. Murad shrugs. I can replace the fan controllers again, but it, ain't, but it may uh, not be money well spent. Something else is going on, going on in the unimproved power conduits, but the Argo is very old and very complicated. And tracking it down may be difficulty. Uh, I can't rebuild the system. Replace the fan controllers. I lose 10k. That work order you submitted is complete. Okay, so we've got everything fixed. I just need a couple of mech pilots back in action. Okay. Raiding party, which is a where I've got to move for that one. Um, ooh, destroy base. We get more uh, stuff for that. Um, stubborn surrender. This is a battle. Many years ago, we fought a legendary conflict with the pirates here in Panzer. Recently, however, news has trickled in from a remote region of the planet. Enemy forces harrying regional transportation eyewitness reports describe very old mechs in colors from the conflict long since ended you are to show these old mech warriors that the war is over for them as well okay i'm going to take cash here because i need it at the moment okay i see the centurion's got the warning because of its incorrect setup um We've redone my Vindicator. I want to try the Griffin, guys. Um, it's a bit of a different load. I'm going to take this instead of a trebuchet, guys. It's a different type of long range. It's still a long range mech. Um, I'm half tempted to take something instead of my Blackjack. Because my Blackjack is getting to be a light one of my lighter mechs. Oh, we do have you back as well. And you are still set up for a relatively close... You're set up for a sort of all-around setup. And I don't like my Shadowhawk setup at the moment. No, we'll give it a go. We'll try that new setup anyway. Um, right. Glitch is going to go in the Griffin because she is my target, my ranged one. Um, you can stay in the Vindicator. So, yeah, this works nicely. Um, Decker can go in the Centurion. Yeah, I know I've got unused tonnage in that one. That's not accidental. That's uh, the tonnage being a pain. Okay. So this is only a two and a bit skull mission, so it shouldn't be too bad. Famous last words there, guys. I believe this one was in a desert that we'll see when we land. So we should be able to burn through this one relatively quickly, guys, and just get ourselves some cash. And as I said, right now, I just want to build up some of my cash stocks, guys. Um, yeah. As somebody has said, I need to get my AC-20 onto my Centurion, which is my close-in mech. I hated my childhood. Oh no, this is a uh, Tundra, so our heatsink is better. Right, let's get this Centurion forwards and scouting for us. Moving out. Move order confirmed. Good enough. Don't need to tell me twice. We'll get to see what this Griffin is like, guys. Standing by. Oh, let's not stand on the uh, rough ground, but let's move up move via the trees so I can move up through cover. That's geothermal there. And we have a contact. I need to get sensor lock on some of my necks again, guys. 
apparently I hadn't realised, guys. Sensor lock also uh, reduces the um, oh, I don't want to da do dumb. Um, what can I do for you? Sorry, lock also what? apparently what? helps remove evasion. I think was what somebody said. So we'll see how that works. Get the shadow ball in front. Way. Uh, Vindicators are reason reasonably tough as well, but he's he's got a more snipey setup as well. So him and the Griffin are going to be pinging from a distance. Let's hit him hard. So here's an old mech, a cicada. Ah, it's not going to be too bad to deal with, especially if he keeps missing. Standing by. That'll do. Firing all weapons. Oh, we didn't have the best percentages. I know it's a rate waste firing my LA LRM so close, guys, but I I've, I've not got ammo issues on a battle like this. So, ouch! So there's somebody hidden up in the trees Ready up there. Orders. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh -huh. Hey, Griffin, you get to show me what you made of here. Got it. Nice. Here comes another mech. Waiting for orders. Stay at range so we can keep sniping, keep our accuracy up with these guys at the back. Engaging target. Ah, I should have used my other guys to knock off the other evasion charge first. Good to go. Got it. Let's not waste my LRM ten on this. I'm probably going to pull his LRM-10 off, guys, to waste on him. Oh, he's down! It's a shame it's the end of a turn and he's going to go before any of my mechs. Oh, and we've got another enemy mech. Oh, we are going first. Nice. You. Right, Good to go. you can take this one, then. couple of 90s there, so we're going to, uh, no, oh, I don't know what I want to go for. We're going to try for the headshot, guys. It's not going to work, but. Got another injury on the pilot. He's nearly down. Hunchback, he needs taking out. Because he's got an AC-20 on him. So I want to get him down as quick as can. Ow! Already exposed my structure I'm there, guys. That AC-20 hurts. Awaiting orders. Well, I'm going to see what's on him, left on him, but if it's nothing major, I'm going to switch to him. I know I should focus him down. Mm. No, he's still got a couple of lasers. Let's just finish him. That'll do. That hunchback is... Oh, is yeah, the AC-20 hurts when it hits, guys, so... I'm going to fire everything. I'm going to use the LRMs as well, guys. I know it's not the best idea, but, uh, you know, they're not as good at this range, but... 
I want him down. I'm just gonna go straight everything centre torso to try and batter it. Aye aye. Affirmative. No point shooting with those LRMs. Come on! Structure exposed! Not enough though. Oh, they've got a blackjack up there. He could have some good firepower as well. That's where it's good being trees. We are reducing the damage we are taking. Do. Bring all of my weapons to bear on him. Standing by. You betcha. Ninety percent hit there, guys. Come on, take him. Well, he's down at least. Should have reduced his initiative, hopefully. So, hopefully, it's still me. What's up, boss? I copy. Get our evasion charges up and blat him. Yeah, I just want him down. Bit of a waste blowing up, but if I if I do, but at the same time I want him dead, so. Commander. Copy that. <clears throat> Sorry about that. No, not gonna waste the LRMs. And he's out. Okay, so it looks like we've probably just got that black we've just Enemy got down. that black jack left now, guys, so we should be able to take him quite easily. I've said it now, he's gonna turn around and he's gonna batter me somehow. Shadowhawk is taking a bit of a beating. Receiving you. What do you need? Uh, I should have shot the other guys first to keep so I can get my uh, snipers with the best accuracy. That's it. That'll still do. Good to go. At this point, I may as well use the LRM ammo, guys, because I'm gonna get a re rearm. So, um, but I'm gonna overeat if I do. So we won't. Taking his arms off. Standing by. Roger that. It's going nicely, actually. So far. I'm not fussed about getting another blackjack. That said, I can always sell them, but... I just want him dead. I want to burn through these mi a couple of missions and get our cash, so our, our cash flow sorted. And you can blat him with everything. Let her rip. K 
Hey, and he's knocked down, but he'll be straight back up. Because it's now his turn. Oh. Oh, no, he didn't actually get a turn that turn. Commander. Moving out. Tell me what to shoot. And he's gone. And I believe that is the mission. Plus, I can't actually choose any of my um, my uh, salvage from this, so so 500k, bit more rep with Yano, restorations, working back the mercenary board rep we lost, took a little bit of damage. That worked quite well. That was a nice setup. I liked that Griffin there. Uh, oh, we got some hunchback salvage and some AC20 ammo. Hmm. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Oh, so we just staved it off there, guys. Uh, we need to get some cash, extra cash, though. Okay, so. I know I've got points to spend, guys. Right, first things first, let's uh, repair you. And let's throw an extra bit of refit at you because I'm just going to pull the LRM off this. That LRM is a waste. Um, I could put an AC20 on him. Issue with the AC20 is it, it is really short range, guys. And it doesn't have much ammo he says while keeping it on does a lot of damage though um, and we'll also pull that large laser off if we're doing this because he is gonna be a, he is a close range beastie uh, and throw some SRMs on oh, I hate the way it does that so I've been informed I'm better to have SRM4s than SRM6s because the damage output for heat is better. So having two of these guys actually the meta works out better. Though we do have an SRM6++. Let's do the math quickly, man. So that's going to give me 12 times 6. Uh... Whereas that gives me 8 times 4. And this still only generates 14 heat. So I'm going to go for that SRM6 actually. Um, I've not done the maths properly. I just kind of very quickly in my head went. Uh, how does that work? Um, so I think that's slightly better. How much are we over by? Not much. Let's just take a teensy bit off the back. No, we're only going to take one thing of SRM ammo then. Ah, that'll do it. So if they're all equal, if they're all on fives, I can get it to work. So we put a bit more on our arms and taking a bit off our legs. So he is now a very close in Centurion. Uh, we've got our other Centurion. Can I rename him? I can't use brackets. CS, close support. Uh, close assault, oh well. I, I'll just remember which it is from looking at them. It's gonna take seven days so we obviously won't be taking him on the next mission but we've got plenty of things to take we've also got this guy as well um that's odd this centurion is definitely set up as a long range one <laughs> K 
Okay, let's go to my contract again. Okay, we've got a couple now. An assassinate. Ooh, liberation. That's a three and a half star for the same value as this. So, I'm going to leave that one for now. Um, so, assassinate. We've had confirmation from several sources that the leader of an insurgent cell backed by a local pirate organisation is moving in the open. This is a rare opportunity to take out one of the primary enemies of the legitimate red, red, restoration regime in Panzer. Additionally, will include a bonus payment if you're able to destroy all the targets escorting units. Okay. I want the cash again, guys. At the moment, I, I need the cash. Right, we need to put a couple of different mechs in here. Um, I'll try my Kintaro. Um, he's a short range. He's a bit of a glass cannon. Um, see, he's set up for long... We'll take in my blackjack. This is not the best setup, actually, guys, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, this uh, this really isn't the best setup at the moment, actually, but well, we'll give it a go, guys. These recorders to restoration providers. I mean, Sergeant Leader should be in the area. Move up, get to get eyes on his target. The target and any escorts he might have. Okay, so we saw some things in there. And we're starting in the middle of a lake. Okay, let's start sprinting up. Aye, aye. Moving to position. Coordinates received. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, reinforcements. Yay! This is going to be a complete ambush, guys. Got it. Confirmed. Let's keep heading towards that col enemy contact. So we had some mechs quite close in. We've got reasonable cover for them. Um... Sensor showing a new hostile. Okay, a couple of guys moving towards us. Ooh, wow. And they're going to have reinforcements coming in straight out, so we need to make short work of these guys. Oh, wow. So they had things right on them. Here. Yeah. Thankfully, it's a light mech. Doesn't necessarily mean it's easy to kill, guys. Waiting for orders. Yes, Commander. Right, let's start pinging at that locust, because he's the only thing I can really see. Uh... These aren't going to be heavy mechs, but this is going to cause, this is going to be a pain in the butt. Ready for orders. You can move forwards, because you need to be getting in close and shooting them. Uh, I get better on him, but they're both... He is... Neither's really damaged. Oh, he's got SRMs. He needs to go down first. Do the job! Here comes an LRM hit on my Kintaro. Commander. Copy that. 
Okay, let's get that that guy down first. We need to just keep hitting them here, guys. Affirmative. You know what I said about hitting them? Uh, that's what I need to do, not hit the hill in front of them. God damn. We've got this forest here, so... Now this... On my way. I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to jinx it. Die! Oh! So that locust has taken damage. And there's a tank. Hopefully that's just an LRM carrier. My guitar is going to start pushing up and bashing into and, and getting shots on. Um, it's a lot of LRMs being shot at us. It's a lot of mechs. I'm assuming they're fairly. Yeah, it's going to be a load of locusts. If they're all locusts, that's going to be a pain in the butt. Simply because they're all going to have so much evasion. That's not a locust, but it's another light mech. But if my Kentaro can get in, he can also start hitting them, which will knock off their... Uh, damage on that hit. He can start melleeing them, which knocks off all of their evasion. I want a Jenna. He needs to go down fairly quickly. He's light, but he's got... He can punch a... He, he's got all a punch. The problem with all of these guys is there's so many of them. They can just overwhelm me to an extent. Another blip on my screen. Wow, and another one. Get up and in. And we'll start hit. Start using it to take off things. I know I'm getting close to these guys, but he works better close. Kill him. I'm gonna say that, that should be dead. Mech destroyed. Oh, and they've got a Vindicator. He'll be their boss, so he'll probably be sitting back. I've been sensor locked. Oh, he's close. Hmm. Awaiting orders. Forward and work out what's best for me to hit. He doesn't actually have much armor. I'm going to try and take him down because he's got a PPC on him. He doesn't have much armor, so actually, let's just try and blow straight through him. Targeting for an alpha strike. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that'll do nicely. God. And the target is running away. And he's just LRMing me. So thankfully these guys don't have much armor. So actually my Kentaro is my hopefully going to be able to off. batter them in melee. Orders. Good Let's finish him off. Roger. Come on, good hit. Let's get this done. He's out. Enemy wow, death. so we've got the reinforcements and the escorts right on us at the same time, which I is not you. ideal. Let's 
Right, we're going to hit that Jenna. We've not got the best accuracy on it, but he's my next thing to take out because he's probably got the most firepower of anything there. Oh, we'll try and take out the rock in front of them because, you know, I don't like rocks, guys. And now we've got everything happening and the tanks. God. Little striker. My Kintaro is going to start taking a battering, guys. Not much armor left in that location. I kind of... Rig I'm missing my heavy mechs. I said we've already taken two of them out. They're going to start trying to get behind my Kintaro, I imagine. Or not. Go to the side where you've not hit him much. Please keep doing that. Minimal damage on that hit. God, there's so many of them. See, now that's what I'm... Oh, no. However, that Jenna needs to die. Armor breach. Internal damage. Oh god, they're just going to ping him until he falls over, aren't they? Interesting. If you were going to do that, you should have done that first. Oh god. Damage is light. He's going to fall over in a minute. Reporting internal damage. Ooh, and it's a panther. It's another light mech. It's another one with a PPC. That shot went internal. Probably need to start... Ah. Yeah, my Quintano is not in the best. Quintaro is not in the best position here, guys. Standing by. Let's try and finish off that Jenna. Come on, kill it. Reporting critical hit. He's just going to do an LRM strike and he's going to hit my guy who's down. My internals are taking a beating. Standing by. The big question is actually, is it worth hitting the Jenna? I know taking out a mech is always good, guys, but if the Jenna's... Not got anything here. Still got an SRM4. Let's let's finish him off. I don't know if he's got any weapons left now. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh huh. No, he has no weapons left, so I'm going to ignore him. In fact, we're going to hit you. And you. Uh, I know it's a low chance to hit, but I'm, I'm happy to waste the ammo here. You get a headshot, and you get a we headshot. don't need much to finish him. Oh, oh wrong way round. Oh, well. I suspect my Kintaro is about to go pop. The rest of us are probably going to start making our way back through the water. Keep our cover up. That shot got past my armor. 
Receiving you. Oh no, he's still fine. Right, he's gonna stand up and he is gonna start punching. Hmm. Come on. That'll do the job. He's so going down again, though. Hmm. They've blown past my armor. He's close range mech, but maybe I got too close. Oh no! Damn it! I'm wounded. He is actually in trouble there, but he's taking the fire, which is keeping the rest of my guys secure. That was why. Could he have damaged himself doing that? Did that make sense? Reduced. He's down. But jumping on him just damaged yourself. Ah, oh, that annoying thing at the back. Damage minor. Now, theoretically, we only have to kill the leader, but to kill the leader, we're going to have to batter through all of these guys. I'll do. Let's hope Decker's not dead. That would be most annoying. The issue is they've got so much fire they can ping at me, I lose all of my evasion stacks so quickly. Commander. Good to go. Might not be worth hitting him anymore if he's not got anything left, so we'll have a look. Plus, we might get ourselves back into the water. Oh no, he still has his weapons left, right. Centre torso PBC here. Oh, you annoying. Yes, Commander. Because by getting into the water, guys, we will actually help keep ourselves... Um, We can cool our mechs a bit. Where was it? We could move somewhere and remain in cover and still shoot. And get a uh, an evasion stack. Right, we can use vigilance and shoot from here then. If it doesn't kill him, I'll be depressed. Bit overkill, but you know. No retreat. Enemy down. Just swarms of little mechs, guys. These injuries are going to start racking up as well. I need to get Thief back. Awaiting orders. Standing by. Affirmative. Well, 
Oh, that's all I can hit. Well, he dies. Thief is very close to going down there, so I need to keep her back. Reporting vehicle destroyed. Instead, we are burning through them, guys. Locust it has just become my next target. Oh, all that. No, oh, no. I'd like the panther to show itself, actually. Can I actually see him? Just taking out that panther with his PPC would be very nice at this point. Hmm. I'm here. I'm gonna melee him to knock his things off. This is a risky move. Time to get Ooh, that'll... Oh, it doesn't knock on all... all. Oh no, yeah, he lost all his evasive charges there as well, guys. So hopefully we'll we'll be able to batter him down now. Damage. Get into the water to keep our cool, get our cooling helping. Hmm. Let's just make sure he's finished off. Overkill! That's a reinforcement's gone. Enemy down. So we've got two enemy mechs left, and then we can move on to the boss. I was surprised if the boss didn't start running away soon. So Glitch doesn't have as much damage as I thought, guys. I thought she had three injuries rather than one of four. When they just get that lucky hit on your head, it's infuriating. Ah, he needs to die fast, because he's probably the scariest thing left, because he can, that PPC can hit. Awaiting orders. Commander? So we're going to focus down that pan for now. Come on, good hits. Nice. Ah, and the boss is coming into sight too. Oh, and the boss also has a PPC. He's probably not going to be in a light mech. Damn it, I've got an armor breach. Aye, aye. That'll be nice. Moving to position. Come on! Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna let my blackjack take a little bit more of a brunt now. I know I'm facing my rear to them a bit, but he's got damage on his front, so I'm not so bothered. Plus, they're not gonna hit too hard. Let's try and just poke, punch through. Target's taken a critical hit. He's getting there. I think, have I knocked his PPC off? I should have paid more attention. Is he, is he like trying to melee me? But no, he just came in really close. Standing by. Standing by. 
on my way. Come on, kill it. Firing everything I've got. Bloody hell. Okay, moving to range, I can see what we got. That's another Griffin, okay. He needs to be taken out fairly quickly, actually. Armor's holding. This mission is not Commander. actually going too well. Uh, what does he have left? His PPC is down. Actually, yeah, let's uh, do a melee attack on him. Because <laughs> I, I want to burn off some heat, guys, and we're going to stay in cover here. Waiting for orders. Acknowledged. Hmm. Those SRMs could be a bit annoying, but they're nothing like the PPC. Um, how much armor? He's got full armor. Right, let's try and take this guy out quick. In fact, it's multi shot time, guys. Confirmed. Come on. Eh, not quite. Ah, oh, well, we, that'll do. Ah, oh, we missed. Target damaged. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. He's going to get up. He's not doing much. Oh, no, he is. I thought he was digging in. Start moving my blackjack towards the water so we can start getting those hits out again. A lot of little mechs like this is a pain in the butt. This mission's actually taking longer than I thought it would as well, so. Um. I'm just gonna go for him, guys. I want him down. Brian just punch his torso out. It's probably not gonna work, but. This little locust is not really a worry. This mission is just a pain in the butt. Commander. Move order confirmed. I know I'm leaving the Panther guys and it can keep pinging at me, but I want him down. And it doesn't mean I'm not going to finish off the Panther, but. Receiving you. For now, getting that guy down first, then I've completed the mission and then I can choose to get out if I want. Plus his PPC is probably the most dangerous thing on the field at the moment. Firing. All weapons. He's moving forwards. Yeah, is this a tricky one? Because him having range, he's less effective at close range. But then again, I've got a fairly range set up here as well. So I 
Oh, damn it! Down at least, which means we're going to get a guaranteed cold shot on his torso. If we can take his torso out, guys, he's down. That said, we've lost a lot on this guy now. I'm not even going to bother with a cold shot because we don't get to, sorry, for mod shots, we don't get the choice of a cold shot then. Okay. Come on! Finish him! Ooh. Target neutralized. Can't believe we've lost a guy here. That is infuriating. Especially this is Decker as well, who was a reasonably set up guy. Thankfully, the rest of these guys shouldn't take too much taking out. Just hope Decker's not dead. Where's the LC? It's right behind, so we may as well just finish these guys off. Yeah, he's still dead. Awaiting orders. Confirmed. Can I not actually see the Oh well, we'll take out that striker then. Targeting for an alpha strike. better pulling back, do more damage by pulling back and shooting. Yes. Position confirmed. Here it comes. Come on, finish it. Well, it's not dead, but it's far more crippled. He is not going to survive the next turn, but we've not done well on this one, guys. This one has gone badly, actually. So, uh, this is, once again, how not to play Battletech, guys. Light damage. Holding firm. Aye, aye. On the move. Firing all weapons. Like I can say, a good hit should finish him. That this. should be the end of the mission, guys. And this is going to force me to run to the evac? Nope. Mission Whew. So, uh, not my best mission there, guys. Not the most glorious of missions. But, you know, we did it. We got through. 
The Kintaro, it's a bit of a glass cannon. It does do good damage, but it's also, you know, it it doesn't, that's going to hurt. But then again, I'm, I'm, I can cope with him out. The rest of my damage isn't too bad, actually. But just being swarmed by all those little mechs was a pain in the butt. But that should get us, yeah, that should tide us over for the time being, guys. Um, we are going to end this one here. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you have enjoyed this and um, enjoyed watching me fail badly. Uh, oh, we've got another mission when we're ready for it. Um, so, we'll maybe have a look at that next time. And we've got a bit of XP and a bit of things to spend. So, thank you very much for your time, guys.